tell me, you know, just briefly again who you are and, and what you're in Chillicothe doing. Okay, uh, my name is Dennis Mixer. I'm the founder of Ministry of the Sheep International. And the, the name of the Ministry of the Sheep came from Matthew 25, verses 31 to 46, where the king, which is Jesus, separates the sheep from the goats. And um, he tells the sheep, you know, welcome to the kingdom. When I was hungry, you fed me. When I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. When I was naked, you clothed me. And I said, well, when did we do this? And he said, whenever you did it to the least of these of mine, you did it to me. And the purpose of Ministry of the Sheep International is to establish orphanages, feeding centers, medical clinics in third world countries um, where they're ravaged by AIDS and poverty. And uh, right now we're working with a ministry in India that has 10 orphans living on the floor of their church. And uh, right now I am on the 4,000 mile walkathon. I started out May 30th in Spring Lake Park, Minnesota, which is just north of the Twin Cities and I've uh, been walking for a little over four weeks now and right now I'm in Chillicothe, Ohio and uh, I'm taking a few days to just kind of do some networking here and from here I'm headed to Washington DC for a conference to support Israel and from there going down to Miami, Florida going through the Everglades and then back to Peoria, Illinois for a missionary convention in November. Tell me a little bit about, about what you do on, on the way, you know, walking that long. How, how long is this going to take you, and what are your plans for stops along the way, that kind of stuff? Okay, it, it'll take me uh, about five and a half months if I keep on schedule. And uh, I just, I walk between 20 and 30 miles a day. Uh, I'm not allowed to solicit rides, but I can accept rides if, if, you know, somebody feels that they need to stop and pick me up, and it's happened several times. Um, I've gotten to the point where I'm watching the traffic coming towards me, because generally they go past me, go a few miles up the road, and come back. So I just feel like I'm supposed to pick you up, and it keeps getting worse the further I get. And so they come back to get me. And uh, I'm just, uh, when I meet people, I let them know about the ministry, uh, let them know about the goodness of God. And uh, if they're Christians, they say they're Christian, I make sure they know the truth that, you know, God sent his son here to teach us how to live, and not just so we can go out and do what we want and accept be go to heaven. Um, say so the difference between the sheep and the goats, you know, they're, they're both in the Jewish tradition, they're both kosher, they're both suitable for sacrifice, you can eat both of them. The difference is, well, and they both sit in church on Sunday morning, <laughs> the difference is the sheep are doing what Jesus said. You know, feed the, or take care of the orphans, the widows, visit the sick and imprisoned, and the goats are sitting in church on Sunday morning. And not doing anything, that's the difference. And uh, so I let them know, you know, if they claim to be Christian, that, well, what are you doing for God? And uh, I'm just, I'm trying to bring awareness to missions because there are so many mi ministries out there that are, that, like the one we're working with now, you know, they're trying to take care of kids that have nowhere to live, but they don't have the funds. And here in America, you know, we're in a recession, and everyone, oh, you know, I don't know what we're going to do. We can't go out to Red Lobster today because we don't have the money. And, you know, what they would spend in Red Lobster for one meal would feed a kid for a month in another country. And, you know, just trying to get the word out that, yes, we may not have what we want right now because of the economy, but there are people starving to death every day that would, would love to have one meal that we eat. And uh, just trying to get the word out. So this, this takes a big commitment on your part, too. It's going to take five months out of your life. You know, some people may say, well, you know, you can call the radio station, you can mail us this, you can email us stuff. What, what made you decide to just take out and start walking pretty much across the country? I um, will make a long story short. After almost 20 years in law enforcement, God called me to ministry. And I spent six months last year in Honduras working at an orphanage. And when I got back, he led me to start this ministry. And I sent out emails and letters to probably 100 churches in the Minneapolis area and got, didn't get any response. And I was just praying, you know, what is it I can do to get this word out? And God pretty much said, are you willing to walk for it? And uh, a couple days later, I found out about the convention in Peoria, Illinois. I thought, oh, I can walk to Peoria, Illinois. And then I found out about the deal in, in D.C. And uh, then the uh, a family that I had met down in Honduras last year, 
Uh, they were there for a couple of weeks, and they said, well, when you come back to the States, make sure you see us before you leave again. And they live in Naples, Florida. <laughs> so I thought, okay, so I'll just make a nice loop around the country here, east, east part of the country, and uh, that's, that's it. And he didn't tell me I was going to raise all the funds I needed. He told me to do it, and uh, I'm putting my faith in him. Okay. Well, if somebody hears this and wants to help out, how do they help out? Okay, uh, you can go to the website. It's ministryofthesheep.org. Um, there's a button there that says help support us. It's a link to uh, PayPal. And uh, there's PayPal. You can't just get a PayPal account. People just give you money. So that, you know, it's one way of verifying that, um, you know, we are uh, incorporated ministry here in, in uh, Ohio. And uh, if there's also the address if you want to send a check or money order made out to Ministry of the Sheep International. Um, if you're interested in following it, at agapejesus.com. I do an, a broadcast every night at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Uh, you go to that website, scroll down a little bit on the left side, you'll see Miles for Missions, and then it says uh, Walkathon Chat. You click on that, I'll take you to another page that has a video chat room. And I, I'm on there uh, about 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock every night. So when you're here in, in, in Southern Ohio area, where do you know what route you're going to be traveling? You know, if people want to go by and honk or give you a ride or I, something. I believe from here, I'm, I'm pretty much taking 50 Highway into Virginia. Okay, so you just pretty much do it day by day. You don't know where you're going to be stopping or where you're going uh, to be I, I have it plotted out for estimates, but... Um, I, I follow the lead of God. One day I got caught in a rainstorm five miles before my destination and ended up in a church that had a bishop there from South Africa. So I, it's, you know, I'm letting God lead it. And, you know, I have destinations where I plan on being. Um, I don't always make it there. Uh, sometimes I go further because someone's giving me a ride. And uh, I, uh, if you go to the website, Ministry of the Sheep, uh, there's a this is MFM, it's Miles for Missions button, and that gives you a takes you a page that has a Google map on it, and you can zoom in and see if I'm going down your street even. And this also got a calendar of where I should be approximately because I say sometimes I don't make it there, other times I get ahead of day. And uh, but it give you an idea of where I'm going to be on those days. It sounds like you must have a lot of support folks, these folks here helping you out. Yes, so, I do. So how, how do you guys coordinate all of that? Uh, we actually met on uh, agapejesus.com. It's, it's a, a like a Christian MySpace where you can set up your profiles and and uh, do what you want on it. And that's where we met. And uh, they just happened to be in, in line on my route. And so they said, well, sat by here and we'll take care of you for a day. And, you know, give you a place to sleep and food to eat for the day. and. Then it just kind of uh, snowballed from there. It's like we found a church on Tuesday night, and then we lined something up on Wednesday, and got something lined up tomorrow night at another church. And it just um, the plan is uh, Sunday they're going to drive me so that I, I don't get too far behind up the road, and uh, then I'll wait till the next time. It, this must be really exciting for you. I mean, I know you started this out to, to bring awareness and to help these orphans, but. It's got to really have opened your eyes to just see how much God's providing for you along this oh, way. It's got to be it amazing. Definitely. Um, I tell people I, I'm a week behind on my journal. So I've only got about a little over three weeks of journal done. I've got over 50 pages, and there's hardly a page in there where what men would want to call a coincidence. But it's, it's got to be God because coincidences don't happen every day. Uh, the people I run into, um, just it's, it's just amazing. Uh, I, I was going to put it online every day, like the Daily Journal. Um, people have told me I need to wait, put it out as a book, and then use those funds to help finance the ministry. So um, if here in, in uh, six months or so, maybe I'll have a book out, and maybe I can be on here again and interview with the book. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that'll about do it. Thank you so much, and uh, good luck on your journey. Thank you so much. God bless you. All right, we'll go ahead and save this and cut up some things and uh, use it to put get something together.